It's James Banks here for Up Close Gamers. I'm here with Liquid Pro Hey Pro. Sadly, he's out of the tournament, but um, how did the tournament go for you so far, really? Like, in terms of the group stage, were you happy with how you played? Um, I opened by winning my two first matches. Uh, so I was pretty confident to get top two. And then I played Marine King and I lost. And then I knew, like, I wouldn't be able to get first in the groups. So I did advance, got second. But I had to play MC because uh, I knew it from the start. If I didn't get first, I had to play MC. So I had to beat one Korean at least. And I didn't. I lost to MC in the round of 16. Uh, so yeah, top 16. So you're saying about you had to beat one Korean. For you, do you find it like you start to worry thinking about playing a Korean? Or do you just treat him like any other player? Um, of course, I have more... Uh, like I know the Koreans are harder to beat, so it's a harder match. But I try to to do my best. It's yeah. So Marine Kim Prime, he topped your group. Um, who do you think now you've played MC and Marine Kim Prime out of the two? Who do you think has got the best chance of winning it? Um, I think Marine King does too much, like what he wants to do when he plays. And I think if he if he keep, keeps doing it versus MC, then MC will win. If he plays more standard, then it will be a, a good match. Okay, so looking at players coming from and going to Korea, a lot of people are now saying it's time to head back to Korea to get the best practice possible. Do you think that's the best option or would you still prefer to stay back in Europe and train? Oh, to, to be the best, I think uh, you have to practice with the best. And even though there are some really good players in Europe. In Korea, like, there's so, so many more. So I think Korea is the, is the place to practice to be the best right now. Will we see you in Korea anytime soon? Um, right now it's very busy with tournaments, so not in the near future, but I, I would like to go to Korea sometime. Okay, so your next event's MLG Providence. Um, I think I said that right. <laughs> um, how are you looking forward to that event? Like, do you know all the players going yet? Um, I managed to get in the championship bracket, so I'm gonna be playing an open bracket player, and it could be MVP or Nesty since they're apparently going now. And after that, if I win, I'm playing Don Gray. So it's gonna be one of the hardest tournaments uh, in StarCraft 2. It's the true elite at this event. Um, what I like to do for up close gamers is I like to offer a bit of advice to the fans and stuff, and you, especially Team Liquid, you have loads of fans. So, what advice would you give to your fans on making it as a professional StarCraft 2 player? Because everyone's trying to get there at the moment, but it's such a such a hard thing to do. Um, I think the it's all about having time to play as many games as possible and to reflect over the games, not just playing but reflecting and watching a lot of replays actually, I think that helps a lot. And uh, yeah, it just take your time, keep on playing, watching replays, reflect, talk with other gamers, discuss the games. Great, so any last words, anything you want to say to your fans, any shout outs? Uh, I want to thank uh, Team Liquid sponsors, of course, the, the reason we go to events, Razer and uh, the Little App Factory. And also, I want to thank all my fans. The, it's very nice to have them. It makes it easier to just keep on playing. Great. Thank you very much.